Hello friends. This is a faith and play story. It's here with our other stories. It's not one of the godly play sacred stories. It's not one of the parables that Jesus told in godly play stories. It's one of the Quaker stories about friends' faith and practice and witness. This is the story of George Fox's big discovery. George Fox lived in England long ago. When he was a child, he went to church and he read the Bible. He learned things about God. When he got older, he wanted to learn more. He had many questions about God, about life, about love. The questions in his heart were very heavy. He looked everywhere, but no one could answer them for him. The questions were heavy. It was hard for him to carry them around. George Fox looked for answers in church. There were many people there, but no one could answer his big questions. He read books. But the answers to his big questions were not in them. George Fox could not rest. He worried. He prayed. Some people said, forget your questions, George. Why don't you become a soldier? But he did not want to fight. Besides, he was looking for answers, not a different job. He searched some more. He walked and walked. Some people said, don't worry, George. Sing hymns with us. But George didn't feel like singing. He only wanted answers. He looked for a very long time. And finally, he did find one who could answer his big, heavy questions. Do you know who that was? George Fox discovered that in his heart, God was whispering little pieces of the answers the whole time, just as much as he was ready to understand. Fox wrote in his journal, I heard a voice which said, there is one, even Christ Jesus, that can speak to thy condition. And when I heard it, my heart did leap for joy. 
From then on, George Fox knew he had pieces of the answers in his heart wherever he was because God was always with him. God was whispering in his heart when he was in a church building. when he was reading, when people were fighting, God is there too. When everyone was singing. He learned to listen hard because God's voice is sometimes hidden inside. God's voice can be very still and small. George Fox realized there are some questions that only God can answer. If we stop and listen, we will find that God is already giving us the answers, just as many as we are ready to understand. George Fox was so happy that he shared his discovery with other people. Many people joined with him. They listened and they prayed together. They called themselves friends. And we call ourselves friends. I wonder what part of the story you liked best. I wonder what part of the story felt most important for you today. I wonder where you are in the story. What part feels like it is about you? I wonder what big questions you have.